guys. Long time no talk. So today, today is January 23rd, 2023. One, two, three, two, three. Today was a very big day for me. A year ago, we were getting all settled in to our house. Some bad things happened that day and I did self-harm. I took a huge chunk out of my arm and that was the day that I decided that I need to find healthier ways of being better and doing better and that this has to stop self-harming has to stop it has to i have been doing this since i was seven years old seven let that just sink in seven i am 39 years old so the beginning of 2022 i was 38 Think about that. 31 years of doing self-harm. 31. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people think that I talk about mental health to get attention and for people to feel sorry for me or to, I don't know. People are dumb. Um, But I talk about mental health because to me, it is just as important, if not more important, than your physical health. And I will never, ever, ever stop talking about the importance of mental health. So today, at 3 o'clock, uh, I take it back about 2.55, I ran into the back room with a bunch of papers. And I turned on my app that I use, which I highly suggest everybody that feels like they need to be held accountable or to report to something or they want to keep track of something. That they download the app called I Am Sober, which I found because of Jazz Thornton, which if you do not know who she is, go and follow her on TikTok. She is absolutely amazing. She competed in Dancing with the Stars New Zealand. She's been to America. She's done a whole bunch of awesome things. She's a really great mental health advocate. I adore her. I admire her. She is a best-selling author. She's amazing. Anyways, um, but I ran to the back room and I screen recorded the last minute before it turned to tell me that I celebrated one year self-harm free. One full year of being self-harm free. And I've been through a lot of crap this past year. These past two years have just completely knocked me off my feet. And I also decided last year, whenever I made the decision that I needed to stop this, that I was going to grab at least three accountability partners. I ended up with six, seven, seven. Um, so I'm going to thank those people right now because they have been my absolute rock through all of this. And I really could not have done this without them. And they have changed my life and continue to love me and support me in spite of my absolute craziness. And they love me even though I'm different and I have issues. Judgment-free zone with these people. I share my life with them. I love them like they are my sisters. And that's how it should be. So Holly, Rebecca, Rose, Carrie, Kalina, Nikki, and Christine. That might have only been six. 
Thank you. Oh, and Ashley. I can't forget about Ashley. Thank you. Thank you for trusting and believing in me whenever I didn't think anyone could or would. Your friendships mean the absolute world to me. Thank you for answering my text messages at 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning. Thank you for being there whenever I've gotten bad news. Thank you for letting me love on your children and spoil them rotten and including me in things even though you knew I would probably say no because I'm just drained sometimes. Thank you for wiping away a lot of my tears and for being okay for showing up on your door. Thank you for getting me through one of the hardest years of my life. I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me. And I will never, ever take your friendships for granted. I love each and every one of you guys so much my world and this world is a better place with you guys in it you guys are beautiful and strong and simply the best better than all the rest sorry i had to thank you guys to everyone else thank you for supporting me even if it's been quietly all of your other messages that I've received saying thank you for speaking up, talking about this. To those of you that have come to me in confidentiality, because you know that I am a safe place for you, please know that you can do this and that everything, it's gonna be okay. It really is. If I can make it a full year, you can too. I have faith in you. I know that you can do this. I know that if I can do this, Absolutely anybody can. There's hope. There's freedom. There's nothing wrong with you. Your feelings are valid and you matter. And your story is yours and yours alone. And nobody can take that away from you. Even if all you did today was wake up all day. It doesn't matter because you're still here and you're still going. I am proud of you for that. And to myself, I can't believe that it took us this many years to finally get our crap together, even if it's just a little bit. But I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for making this journey matter to me and growing and learning and succeeding. I matter. My feelings matter. And sometimes I have really big feelings. And I've learned how to control them in better ways and healthier ways. So to myself, I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you, Lisa Diane Zydema. Yes, I do not have my maiden name anymore. I don't know if anybody knows that. But I don't. I dropped it. 13 years now. Now we just have to get through biopsies because nothing says I'm turning 40 this year than finding health issues in my upper part of my body. So that's going on this week. But today, today we celebrate. And today, I think I'm going to go get myself some ice cream to celebrate.
said, I am off. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.